Jai Gurudev and welcome to day 1 of the 10 day breathing and meditation journey with Gurudev. The most important parts of a story are the beginning and the end. And if you look at the story of your life, the beginning is taking a deep breath in. And the last act, the end is going to be breathing out. And throughout whatever else you do or you don't do, you are going to continue breathing neither at home nor at school have we been taught this connection of the breath with our emotions the breath with our good health the breath with learning with our memories if we can understand and we can master practice and master this connection we can master good health we can master our emotional strength and the next 10 days is going to be about that breath is that which keeps us full of life and it's the most vital function of our body why people are so scared about the corona virus disease or covid is because by attacking our lungs and the entire respiratory mechanism it hinders normal function but with the special breathing practices you're going to learn from today you will increase your lung capacity and the ability of the diaphragm to breathe You know the diaphragm is a thin but a very powerful muscle just below our lungs and below our heart and since it's a muscle it follows the rule of the muscle use it or lose it so when we train the diaphragm when we train the intercostal muscles between the ribs when we train the abdominal muscles then our body can breathe better these breathing practices are so effective that they will also reduce the feelings of anxiety and stress in the system there are so many benefits of breathing properly at every level the physical the mental emotional intellectual or spiritual but most people don't know whether they are breathing correctly or not let's find out let's sit nice and tall and take a deep breath does your stomach go in or out as you breathe in if it's going out you're breathing correctly if it's going in doesn't matter we will see how we can correct our breathing and breathe right the first breathing exercise we're going to learn today will increase the elasticity of the stomach the abdominal muscles so that you can breathe in more you can take in more oxygen more air and more prana so let's start with this simple yet powerful breathing exercise During our whole day and night in fact our whole life our posture affects our breathing If we are sitting in front of the computer or sitting on a chair the whole day with our shoulders rounded and the back hunched like that then what happens it creates a lot of pressure on the lungs and the heart So our blood circulation gets hampered and we don't breathe properly First and foremost we should have an open body posture where the shoulders are back and down and the chest is open so we are sitting straight and the head or the neck is in line with the spine so we are not bent forward like that the neck is pushed back and for any pranayam or meditation we need to sit in this posture you are comfortable for an extended period of time and you are relaxed at the same time you can sit either in sukhasan or if you are an advanced yoga practitioner in padmasan or in chairasan or sofasan be comfortable so the first pranayam we will learn is called kapal bhati kapal means skull and bhati means shining that which creates a shining skull shining intellect what we do is we place our palms on our knees facing downwards the spine is erect and we exhale sharply pulling the navel back to the spine and we relax let go the body will automatically inhale and breathe in the lungs will fill themselves up then we exhale sharply again and let go and let go the inhalation will happen by itself so we only focus on the out breath
and we will notice the effect that it creates. So let's do three rounds of 15 each. Let's sit comfortably, spine erect, palms on the knees, facing downwards, eyes closed. We start by breathing out sharply, pulling the navel back to the spine and let go. Then the in-breath will happen by itself. Exhale, let go. Exhale, let go. And relax. Gentle deep breaths. You can turn the palms. Open up words. The breath may become subtle and light. For the second round, palms on the knees facing downwards, spine erect. We exhale sharply, pulling the navel back to the spine and let go. Exhale, let go. Exhale, let go. Turn the palms, open upwards. The body and the mind, they energize and they relax. For the last round, place the palms on the knees, facing downwards, spine erect, sharply exhale, pulling the navel to the spine. Let go, exhale. Let go. Exhale. Let go. Relax. Turn the palms. Keep them open upwards. gently you may open your eyes. You may feel a sense of serenity and calm in the mind and a sense of energy in the body. This is Kapal Bhati. The second exercise we will learn is called candle blowing. Imagine it's your birthday and you have 20, 30, 40 candles lit and you have to blow them. Of course, in the Indian tradition, we don't blow candles, we light the lamps. But for this pranayam, let's assume that. Okay. So, what we do is, we take a nasal full inhalation. So, through the nose, you breathe in. And you really fill up your lungs because you have to blow those 30, 40 or 46 candles. and pull the stomach in, exhale all the air out, blow that last candle out. We're going to do this three times, okay? So breathe in, deeper, breathe in, and relax the breath. You may close your eyes for half a minute. And notice the whole nervous system calms down. You may gently open your eyes. So breathing out longer, longer exhalations than inhalations, it triggers the parasympathetic nervous system, the vagus nerve. We'll talk about that in days to come, so it calms down the whole nervous system. For the last exercise we're going to practice for today, we will learn the coordination of the muscles with the breath. 
So let's keep our palms like this. And as we breathe in, open up your palms, open up your lungs, your rib cage, push your stomach out, open up your shoulders. And as you breathe out, push your hands forward and your stomach in. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in, open up the chest, breathe out, squeeze the stomach and the lungs. And relax. You notice the breath becomes deeper and fuller. Let's continue this further. This time, as you breathe in, take your hand up and stretch. As you breathe out, pull it down, bending at the elbow. Breathe in, open your palm, open your rib cage. Breathe out, squeeze your lungs and close your fist. Let's do it on the other side. Breathe in. Open up your rib cage and open up your palm. Close your fist and squeeze the rib cage. And relax. This will open up the entire thoracic region the rib cage, the intercostal muscles and the diaphragm. So the next breathing technique is called the Bhastrika Pranayam. Bhastrika means bellows. What the blacksmith uses to pump air into the coals and ignite the fire. Let's do that with our lungs. For this, we're going to keep the starting position this way. Palms are in a loose fist beside the shoulders and elbows are comfortably close to the body. So they're not like that close to the body and it's a light fist. Now, as we breathe in, we are going to throw our hands up and open the palms, open our rib cage, open our lungs. There is more space created in the lungs for the air to come in. And we pull the hands down and the slight jerk, we expel all the air from the lungs and we close the fist. So, we breathe in, open the fist, breathe out, close the fist, expel the lungs totally. Okay, let's do that. For about 10 times, we will do 3 rounds. In between, we'll keep our palms on the laps, open upwards for half a minute and notice the difference the breath creates on the body and the mind. So, this is how we're going to do Bastrika. First, you can observe me for a few breaths. This will be the starting position. Close our eyes and then we begin, breathe in, out, in, out, hands open, closed. Up, down, in, out and we relax with our palms open upwards. So let's do three rounds of about 10, 10 each and in between just notice the effect the breath creates on the body and the mind. Let's begin. For the first round, palms in a loose fist beside the shoulders, elbows are comfortably close to the body, eyes are closed so that the mind stays with the breath and the body. Take a preparatory breath in, a little more. And breathe out completely, some more, with the arms, breathe in, out, up, down, in, out, up, down. You may feel a slight sense of warmth or tingling or buzz in the body. That's good. For the 
let's get ready for the second round hands in position take a deep breath in and breathe out completely and with the arms breathe in out up down in out up down and relax gentle deep breaths in and out last round let's take positions take a transition breath in and empty the lungs with the palms breathe in out in out in out in out palms open lungs open and relax a gentle deep breaths notice the energy in the whole body every cell is getting oxygenated and filled with prana the mind relaxes in the present moment joyfully slowly you may open your eyes the pranayams get the body and mind ready to relax in these times it is especially important to keep our mindset more positive we can use our breath to increase our awareness and make our mind more relaxed gurudev will lead us into a meditation which will expand our awareness and bring a relaxed state of mind so let's get ready Let's sit back with a smile, relax and enjoy the meditation with Gurudev Shri Shri Ravi Shankar. Thodi der apna dhyan karte hain, ha? Aaram se baith jaye. लेट्स की पर स्पाइन इरेक रीड की हड्डी सीधा रखें कंधों को ढीला छोड़ते हैं कीप योर स्पाइन इरेक टन रिलैक्स योर शोल्डर Now let's take our attention to our right side. Become aware of the right side of the head. Right eye, right ear, right cheek. Right side of the head. right shoulder and right hand all the way the whole right side let us keep our attention on the right side दाइनी तरफ अपना ध्यान रखते हैं दाइने नासिका दाइने कान दाइने आंख दाइने गाल कंधे हाथ और पूरी तरह से दाइने तरफ अपना ध्यान को टिकाते हैं
ये पिंगला नाड़ी कहते हैं सूर्य नाड़ी दाइनी तरफ सूर्य नाड़ी है अब दाइनी तरफ पूरा ध्यान रखते हैं ये पुरुष तत्व है दाइनी तरफ हमारे शरीर में दाहिनी तरफ मन जाते ही शूरता वीरता बुद्धिमत्ता ये सब गुण चेतना में होते ही हैं सिर से पाँव तक और पाँव से सिर के चोटी तक पूरी तरह से दाहिनी तरफ अपना मन को चलाए ऊपर से नीचे नीचे से ऊपर सांस की गति के साथ साथ मन को भी हम चलाते रहेंगे दाहिनी तरफ अलोंग विद द मूवमेंट ऑफ ब्रेथ Let us keep taking our attention from top to bottom and bottom to top as it moves on the right side. The right side represents the male aspect in you. Valor. And all other connected with it. Now let us slowly bring our attention to the left side. अब धीरे धीरे अपना ध्यान को बाई तरफ ले जाते हैं सिर के भाई बाग left side of your head that's where we are going to keep our attention gently move your attention take your own time it happens with just an intention left side of your head left eye back of the left side left ear left nostril left cheek left shoulder and the whole of the left side
Let us keep polishing our left side, the feminine side or the moon aspect is on our left side, the Chandra Nadi, moon Nadi is on the left side. बाएं तरफ चंद्र नाड़ी जो शांत है मधुर है कोमल है वह गुणों के साथ चंद्र नाड़ी है आपके भीतर की मधुरता प्रेम कोमलता ये सब चंद्र नाड़ी से संबंध संगीत कला ये सब चंद्र नाड़ी से संबंधित कविता चंद्र नाड़ी से संबंध रखता है यो पोएट्री यो फीलिंग्स अफेक्शंस all is linked to the Chandra Nadi. Your heart is on your left side. attention from top of the head to the toe and back along with the breath. Saas ki gati ke saath saath baayin taraf apna dhyan ko upar se niche or niche se upar chalate rahe. अब शरीर के बीचों बीच एक पतला सा तंतु है नाड़ी है सुषुम्ना उस पर ध्यान टिकाए नाउ लेट्स ब्रिंग आर अटेंशन टू दट सेंट्रल स्ट्रिंग दट पास थ्रू द होल बॉडी फ्रॉम द बेस ऑफ द स्पाइन टू द टॉप ऑफ द हेड ए थिन सेंट्रल स्ट्रिंग Keep your attention on that. Let's keep a big smile on our face and relax and let go. Ek muskan ke saath vishram kare sabhi prayatna 
छोड़ दे प्रयत्न छोड़ दे इस वक्त ना कुछ करना है ना ही कुछ जानना है लेट गो ऑफ ऑल योर एफर्ट्स दिस मोमेंट नथिंग टू डू एंड नथिंग टू नो ई द
and slowly and gradually you may open your eyes dheere dheere aankhe khol sakte hain dheere dheere kholiye aankhe